Wrong. I'm 10. <laughs> I'm 10, and I go to Springfield Elementary. I'm Bart Simpson. Put her there, man. That's a really good impression. <laughs> is, it, is it pretty good? It's pretty good. Do you know the guy that does it? Uh, I don't. Do you, do you know who, who the voice is on that show? No, not really. Well, shake my hand. <laughs> episodes from the early 90s to now is there a difference in your voice has it changed a little bit yeah. I think a little bit with with Bart maybe just a little bit you know when when I'm just doing Bart don't have a cow man eat my shorts get bent and all that he sounds like that but if he <laughs> if you're gonna make him a little bit older then I can sort of take him down into this range and he's still Bart Simpson or if I'm gonna make him a little bit younger then I can sort of like helium like it's like I've taken some helium and I'm still Bart Simpson. You see what I mean? Yeah. So it, it's, I had to find my where in the range am I most comfortable doing that sound. And it, it, it takes a little doing to find that. Hey guys, what's going on? Nick White, owner of Off Leash Canine Training. I'm here in the wonderful Los Angeles, California. Seems to be my home from home. I'm here doing a week long private training seminar for Nancy Cartwright, or as many of you may know, the voice of Bart Simpson from The Simpsons, and her dog, Finn. Finn really doesn't have any major issues. He's three years old, high energy. Um, he knows some things, but nothing solid, nothing reliable, definitely nothing off leash, they said. So I'm gonna try to call Finn over here and show you what he does, starting on day one. Finn, come sit. Good, Finn, heel. No, hey, heel, heel, Finn, come, come, Finn, come, Finn, come here, Finn, come, Finn, come, come, hey, come, there you go, Finn, hey, come here, come here, come, sit, Finn, down, 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 Finn, place, place, all right, hey, heel, Heel. Come here. <laughs> so that's what Finn does on day one in closed backyard. Absolutely no distractions whatsoever. So you can imagine his energy and craziness when there's a lot going on around him. I'm looking forward to showing you his progress over the next week. Hey, heel. So there's uh, Finn's concept of healing.
Ah, that's such a good puppy. Yeah.
right, so Nick's been working with my dog, Finn, for, I don't know, about a week? I think about a week. And the difference between now and then is like night and day. He is, I, I love it, I am, I'm actually now, I'm hatted on what I need to do in order to keep and maintain, you know, all the correction and all the control that Nick has uh, drilled into my dog. And I actually understand and know what I'm doing now, and I think it's super easy. Um, it's super fun. It's super fun because when I walk the neighborhood, it's great to walk in your own neighborhood with your dog and not have to worry about your dog not listening to what you're saying, whether it's healing or sitting or coming or lying down or you place him in a certain spot and you want him to stay there. It's pretty incredible. And um, here you go.